Hey everybody, Alpha Seal here. Today we're going to be talking about a new glitch in Elden Ring in the new 1.09 update, and it's going to be related to the Jellyfish Shield. Now if you watched my last couple uploads, you might have noticed I used the Jellyfish Shield in the build twice, but I didn't keep it equipped. Which is a little weird, right? Normally the Jellyfish Shield functions kind of like a weapon buff, where the buff stays active as long as you have the weapon out and equipped in your hands. Even if you two-hand the other weapon, it's just not going to function anymore. That changed with the recent update. Now, for some reason, even if you swap it out, even if you unequip it, even if you two-hand your other weapon, it stays active. Furthermore, one thing that's always been a mechanic is that if you have two Jellyfish Shields, one in each hand, you can stack both of them. Normally this would be kind of useless because you wouldn't have any weapons to capitalize on this, but it would work for consumables, which, you know, kind of makes some fun cheese builds pretty awesome. Now the problem is you can still stack one in each hand, but now you don't even have to keep it equipped in order to do that. Which means you can not only stack two of them, but you can also have any other two items in your hands. You don't even need two jellyfish shields to do this. You can cast it with one, unequip it completely, and then equip it to your other hand and then cast it again. This means that absolutely any build that would normally use both hands now can have a 44% increase to the damage output. It only works for 30 seconds, but that's all you really need. This means any build that uses a skill as the main damage source, like Rivers of Blood for example, any build that double stacks the passive effects of any seal, any build that uses a two-handed weapon with low HP, you know, normally equipping the Twin Bird Kite Shield, can now double stack Jellyfish Shield on top of it. This means that almost every build in the game has a 44% increase if you just use the Jellyfish Shields, which is crazy, it's stupid, but it, you know, it's free you can just use it. You can implement this into pretty much any build that you're not already like super buff stacking to a crazy extent, right? Like unless you're already pressed for time and you're running out of time on your buffs because your setup is so long, you can get 44% on almost everything and you can just implement it wherever you want. Even builds that already have the jellyfish shield used in it, you can stretch it further because now you can replace that jellyfish with something else and still get another jellyfish shield on top of that. So every build, minimum 20% stronger now that this glitch is active. Now the reason why I say it's a glitch is because jellyfish shield was already in a good place before the patch, and especially since this isn't in the patch notes, I feel like this is not an intended change. I mean, they actually nerfed jellyfish shield in PvP. I don't see a reason for them to make it stronger, you know what I mean? And frankly, this glitch is making it more than twice as strong, because if they just doubled the effect to 40% instead of 20%, it would literally be weaker than what people can do with this right now. Now granted, this obviously isn't the strongest glitch that's ever existed in Elden Ring. I get that, you know, you have the, the big ol' uh, Serpent Hunter glitch, you have a bunch of crazy stupid glitches like the Royal Knights Resolve glitch, but um, Granted, this is still pretty strong, and it's very versatile, it's very easy to do. All you need is a jellyfish shield to get it working, and you can implement this on any build. It doesn't matter which build it is, you can just use it, and it just works, right? So I think in terms of versatility, it's definitely one of the easiest and best glitches to pull off, right? Um, granted, I probably wouldn't do this in PvP, for the same reason why I wouldn't buff stack in PvP. Because, you know, it just takes too long, people can use Law of Regression, you know, all sorts of random stuff al along with that. But, you know, in terms of PvE, this is game changing. The almost everyone, strength builds, everybody, can get 44% more damage for free. It's only for 30 seconds, but that's all you need. I mean, if you've seen some videos on my channel, the boss fight lasts less than 30 seconds already before the glitch starts, right? So, you know, by all means, use it while it's here. Uh, I think it's going to be removed in a few patches at least, but hey, it's cool while it's here. That's about it for this video, guys. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I've been doing some R level 1 no-hit challenges, but it's the easy way. Be sure to um, subscribe if you want to see more of those. Uh, I'm gonna be making new content when the DLC comes out, blah 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 blah, yada yada yada, most of y'all aren't subscribed, uh, YouTube words, bleh, have a good one.